gon' have a blast Cause I just wanna know what Hello, hello, and we are back for our final game of the C qualifier here for day one of the ESL Hamburg games on the ESL joint Dota Blue stream. I'm Hades, and this is PQMZ. Hello, PQ. Hello, hello. So, How's the dignity feel, dude? <sighs> I'm not gonna lie. I don't really feel much of a diff. Oh, yeah, it didn't mean that much anyways, did it? Five seconds. No. What'll it be? Nah, it's all good. Persona, dignity is uh, relevant, right? Mm hmm I mean, what's dignity when you're on a stream selling out the whole time, right? So, okay, before we I'm get... Not selling out. You're selling out. I have to, dude. I have to. I mean, uh, technically, as the car, the the play ca the play by play caster, I have to sell out. Mm -hmm. Even even if it means selling out my soul to get to a land. And all right. That's, you know, enough of me selling out and about you losing your dignity over a BZZ cheese strat. Let's recap game one and two. For those of you in the, in the, in the chat or just tuning in and I'm not really sure what happened. So, okay, so what happened in game one, PQ? Um, basically, Warriors got off to a decent start and then Tinker came online. Neon started playing really well, got the better end of every trade. And then kind of all unraveled when Tinker died once or twice after not spending any money and not having an item for about 10-12 minutes because he kept saving for buyback and then Warriors snowballed that, won the game. Second game, basically they got cheesed. It was you know, good lots cheese. Lots of push heroes, um, Warriors, like, they didn't do anything, you know, they had times when they were strong, they didn't move their heroes, like, the heroes weren't well leveled enough either like they they just didn't Dyer's play the early game now. well enough to deal with the cheese and then they got rolled over Radiance this game around. though it's gonna look a lot different to the previous two i think just based on what heroes we see and if i'm not mistaken this time it will be much different because okay you talked about how miracle is a bit lost putting as a four right but it, since now there's an io pickup Ten i actually seconds. suspect we might be seeing Miracle play the IO because Five I don't think X Nova is an IO player. If I recall, I've rarely seen him, seen him play that hero. And at the same time, the Miracle ha the does have a few you know IO highlights from his FD days. So this could be it. You know, this could be a bit of a change. Bad Rider coming out as well. Perhaps you might see a Coddle pick something a bit greedier. You never know. Uh, something to go with the Fero. Or will it be someone to go with Shionix? Like, are we going to see a CK pick? I mean, Shionix has picked the CK. I'm not sure if Fero is, you know, familiar with the IO Tiny mid matchup. Might even be an IO OD. So many options available. And Neon Esports is constantly guessing. They take out the Visage, however. So, and, you know, Velo hasn't played the Visage offlane like Ice Ice Ice. I'm not really too sure why they banned the Visage, but... It, it is a very annoying support to play against, and Disruptor has a very hard time doing his stuff when there's birds running at him. And if it is a core visage, then it kind of does really well against Necro as well. Radiance turn to pick. So the more you think about it, the more it makes sense, actually. But I imagine this game, they'll look to have ways of five manning. Because you don't want to split up too much against a uh, IO and a bat, but you also need a way to push out waves. Ten seconds. So maybe they look at like a clockwork or some global hero. Bounty Ooh. Right, Bounty's more aggressive, more uh, in, instead of letting the game get to a point where um, you know it's them getting picked off. He's just going to try and snowball the items, 
have a very good laning stage because you know Io is not very good in lanes uh, in the first two three minutes of the game. This is a fun pick, like the bounty hunter as well. It's gonna punish any kills they give away, especially for warriors gaming, you know. But all right, Tuscar and pick coming up now. Uh... There's a good reason we don't see bounty though anymore. This hero enables him a lot though, so I like this pick. And it's a hero that pushes out lanes while still being very good at 5 manning. So do I, and I think yeah. Nando used to run this a lot before as well, previously. So, he'll be very familiar with what, you know, this, syn this duo Ten synergy seconds. can produce. And he's probably going to have expectations of the Darkseid and Bounty Hunter remaining. to at least destroy a lane or two. And Warriors well, Tusk and I are not heroes that want to go in the, that lane mm -hmm. at all. They want to be doing other things. Like, you, you don't want to see a Tuscar trading hits with, you know, a bounty hunter who has Iron Shell on him. Especially once, even if it gets to, like, level 2 and above. Yeah, you Here's never want to get anywhere close to that. So, Lifestealer coming out now. Okay, this, this is a great infest bomb combo. I can see that working out. But I still feel like this is a bit tricky in terms of the laning. How is this going to work out? They just leave lifesteal at bottom. That's why they picked the hero. They have a lot of synergy as well, though. So, like, if you're looking at heroes that can stay against a Darkseer and Five a hero that can potentially remaining. harass you, AM kind of goes out the picture because of the bounty and the Necro and the Disruptor. But lifesteal is very good against all of these heroes. You might need a Diffusal Blade at some point to feel like you're good against Necro, but maybe someone else gets it. We'll see. But he's very good at dealing with the Iron Shell. And potential bounty pressure. Like, there's ranged heroes that can deal with Darkseer, and then they just get crapped on when bounty actually comes to their lane. So this is a very, very safe pick. I like the idea. You know, it's game free. You don't want to go too greedy, I think. Alright, so Neon, we'll see how, what they decide to finish off their draft to... I mean, right now the stakes are quite high on these games, you know, it's a single elimination f qualifier format. Winner of this, I believe, okay, let me check the, let me check the bracket. We'll end up playing against TNC, is it? Okay, no, hold on. WG versus Neon, winner of this will play against Happy Feet. And, you know, Mineski vs is already going to face off against TNC tomorrow. So that's going to be... Yeah, we have some really good games coming up. Like, uh... I don't know. I feel like we have got a lot of interesting games going to come out uh, the further this tournament progresses. And at the same time, like... I, I don't really know what to think about this current Warriors gaming squad. Like, after this shuffle, I'm not too impressed. Well, here's a chance for them to impress you, I guess. I mean, it's they don't. They don't have to impress line. me. Uh, for me, I personally, I just want to see some good Dota. I want to cast some good Dota, something which keeps me awake. You know, I'm not a fan of that Tinker game where it was really dry for a while. You said that it was about the strategic Ten intensity, seconds. but I didn't really feel it. I felt like there were you know s several mistakes which you know either Five team could have could have like capitalized on. But okay, Neon Esports they go back for the anti mage pick. <laughs> Conga! I'm not Is it sure. really an AM game? I don't think so because you know you've got heroes which push it really hard. And okay, yeah, this will be the X Nova Io. It's gonna be Miracle on the Tusk. Okay, one thing for sure, Miracle has no excuse about not being able to use this hero. Because when he played with some Singaporean players, he has he has personally seen what this hero can do. It's saving mechanisms, it's offensive mechanisms, he knows how this hero can work. Whether he knows it personally and whether he can push it to a new limit, we shall see. But Velo on the Bat Rider, okay, I'm, I'm more used to seeing him on Greedy offlaners, but this... I, I hope to see it work out. Bat is quite a Greedy offlaner. Like he needs a certain level of farm, but... He's also a very aggressive offlaner, which Five I imagine this remaining. game will see. So, against an AM, you kind of have a free lane. Until the bounty comes up. Well, I guess also, I mean, I mean it depends. Yeah, on... is playing it, so maybe mm -hmm. it's a mid AM. Maybe it's just player preference on the heroes. I'm not sure. I don't know the team, so. Dude, it's about to happen, dude. I don't think it's gonna be a mid anti mage. Can you imagine mid anti mage against 
Ayo and Tiny. You're going to get wrecked in the lane really hard. It's not as bad as you might think, but the real problem is having the Necro against the Bat. Like, Necro against Bat is dire. Like, you, you just die again and again and again if the bounty isn't there once Bat gets level 2. So, you really need like to avoid that matchup. And if they want to send the AM mid, they can do that. No, it's not. Aren't. It's... So, it, it was just that, you know, the guy played mid twice, and I, I've got no idea on the teams, so... But I'd throw the idea out there. No TPs this game, though. Everyone's walking. Well... Okay, I think this is... This one is a bit weird, because... Now that they do a roll swap, could it be that Neon is also adopting a different type of playstyle? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's I... probably just comfort. Maybe they scrimmed a few times and they realized that one player is just better at anti-mage. Or maybe one guy hates Necrophus. So, doesn't want to play it, you know, maybe he has some dignity. Alright, so, ladies and gentlemen, let us know in the stream what do you think, right? PQ, before, uh, you know, chat decides to give their opinions on Neon versus WG. I mean, obviously, you're gonna give a Kappa to Neon if you think they can win a Kappa Pride for WG. What about you? Are you Kappa or Kappa Pride? Kappa. Kappa? You, Kappa. Ne you wanna go for Neon? Dude, I'm all about the Kappa Pride, man. I thought you would be. Uh... I mean, I, I just think the Darkseer and Bounty are going to cause a lot of problems in the game. And Tiny is not good at killing AM when he gets his spell shield levels. So they're going to rely on the Bat and Lifestealer to do that. But if he snowballs, I think he can do so much damage. Ghost Shroud is not going to be an issue as well because... I mean, if anything, Tiny would be happy for it. You know, the Amplified Magic Damage, increased damage for his nuke, why not? I think it's interesting, though, that, you know, the top lane, Darkseer against Lifestealer, they choose to let the Lifestealer be alone. Yeah, they can do that. This hero CS is really easily under tower. You see how much regen he bought at the start. So he, he knows what situation his team's putting him in. Yeah, and that's why they picked this hero. They needed a hero that can sustain in the lane on his own mm -hmm. and not have to worry. Pharaoh actually falling really, really low. The Nando, he needs to be careful, man. Nando, one death pulse, he's dead. And you can see the amount of yeah, pressure they're putting in this lane. I mean, the fact that you're I putting mean, the bounty he, and he the just fucked up. He he kept trying to toss and he took like two tower hits, and then Necro just right clicked him with, I don't know, like twelve times at this point. And, you know, they're dedicating three heroes here, and they're stuffing yeah. XP, and they're not, you know, getting their levels. So, it feels bad. You know, I I'm not really sure what this hero is meant to do Selling right up now. own shots, trapping two. He's looking for the toss back, I think. They pop the dust. Move away, Miracle. Alright, toss back. Oh, okay, they will get the damage anyways. I think there's a bit of miscommunication there. Yeah, they definitely wanted the Necro, but... In the end, they took what they can get, which I think is fine. They could have done that a bit sooner if the Tosk wasn't sapping experience as well. Oh dear, he's about to lose the Invis rune! Oh. oh, that's unfortunate. That's just plain unfortunate. That's a good play. You know, you, the last thing you want to do is give uh, any IO combo rune control. Oh, this is... okay. I don't know, I feel like right now for Neon, this is something which they're comfortable with, especially since it's so slow paced. It means you guarantee the late game. In WG, I, like once again, you know, they're on the clock, but then again, every time we've said every, you know, the WG's on the clock, they prove us wrong. It's just where we jinx it. Pharaoh is definitely not having a good lane against Nando's Necrophos. No, he's gonna need kills to happen. But at the moment, like, the first two levels were 
pretty necro favored like he was able to manipulate the creeps and he's getting cs and now he's got his boots so he can play the range game a bit more and you know the ion needs to uh find a room as well mm -hmm. miracle needs to figure out if he's gonna gank it or if he's just trying to get exp because now at level one go for the shots uh try for the block it's gonna miss So Xnova, he's just trying to get some of his spirit balls into Nando's face, trying to zone him out a bit out of the lane, but you know, just necro things. The death pulse region is really, really high. Haven't talked about the yeah, Batrider for a while. Uh, unless the uh, Tusk is there, I think it's not gonna happen that they kill the necro. Got it. Maybe when Tiny gets five. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe the hasted Batrider? Mm hmm. Napalm stacks, they can chase him, toss up into the air, slowly burn him down, go shroud. With the haste rune, this should definitely be a kill. So Velo getting one, Lucifer is in the area. But they didn't want to pop the dust, they didn't know he was there. And okay, pretty good start, you know, 2-0, Warriors Gaming. At least they're getting kills out of the laning phase. Yeah, it's good to see the bat move when he's uh, got the chance. Very lucky rune, but he's not doing anything bottom, so... Makes a play. Okay, so middle lane, once again, you know, just necro doing necro things. CS wise is still very tight though, it's 25 to 4 to 21 6, he's not that far behind. And the IO doesn't exactly have the bottle charge to help this poor tiny out. Yeah, solo shining. Yeah, and Ayo's happy for the EXP at least. You know, he's gonna get level 4 from this. Toss and back Nando's into the Ayo. Or he's gonna toss it back to the creeps to rest the stun. Stun. There we go. And the Warriors is gonna be TPing in. Go Shroud. The toss back to the creep wave. Nando in some serious trouble with the snowball. They will get themselves one kill onto the Necrophos again. And this is starting to look a bit more comfortable, at least for Warriors gaming side. Yeah, it's getting though. I imagine uh, oh, he actually buys wand. I thought he might get some raindrops. So. I, I think the main thing is uh, the tusk is able to, you know, participate in these kills. The bounty is like this hero hasn't done anything yet, you know. Yeah, I'm not too sold on the bounty hunter as well right now. Like, he kind of needs to go top to get an iron shell to then go mid. And he hasn't done that once yet. He's just kind of moving around the map in a way that he doesn't know. He's maxed his Q. He keeps spamming his E. He has no mana regen. Like, you know, four position players, they win games with their early performances. These two are just, you know, they're kind of there. I, I, I know, know it exactly. sounds really mean, but they just don't feel like they're doing that much. I know exactly right what now. you mean. But, you know, it's easy to do All things right. later. The early game is the They find a Necro. He's not even going to get to the shrine, and he down he goes. Yeah, they're putting a lot of pressure on him. And again, look where the bounty is. Back in the base. Hasn't really had yeah, impact. Like if this doesn't get scouted and they're able to do that against a hero that's meant to be on the map and scouting these things out then like they're gonna feel like they can make any play and then when it works and they're gonna be like okay we can just keep doing this and that's not good for neon at all like the disruptor still has no boots because he's buying every ward the bounty has been involved in nothing here Okay, they, they get a D ward, which is nice, but, you know, that's the extent of his game impact so far. Like, he's just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Like, if he's bottom now, this bat is maybe dead. Maybe. If he's top, he has an iron shell, and he can then, like, go and do something. Okay, first time, he gets iron shell now. Let's see what he does. Feels like it's a bit too late, though, because earlier on... I think if he, uh, you know, just helped the Darks here at top lane, they could have zoned this lifesteal out way sooner. 
Now everyone's just gonna be healed up. They might try for bottom. It is a bit there. hard though, because like the lane gets pushed top every time. So zoning a Lysila under the tower is not easy. True, true. Whereas if you if you let the Darkseid get level three and then you Ooh, middle lane again, go mid with a level two. We've seen this story sure. before, and they have the snowball bring everyone in. Okay, now okay, he's gonna bring the tiny in. Toss up into the air, should be dead. Goes down to X Nova. We get a very nice kill. Oh, look at the bounty. Yeah, see, this should have been happening. Punk with that double damage, messing around with Fiero. Oh. Yeah, now he's dead. I mean, I don't know, but that that's not the play. And they get the toss kill as well. So Fiero getting a ton of a huge injection of gold suddenly. Fiero, the glimpse back. Do they have enough damage? Toss up into the air. Down he goes. Here comes Eve. But no, they're just gonna heal up the Tusk Guard, so they're okay. And this tiny's quite fat. I think he should have a blink dagger on the way. He's actually going for the Aghanim Scepter. He might be able to get away with not going blink this game, just because you have a form of initiation through the bat and the Tusk and the relocate, which is gonna be online at 10 minutes at the very, very latest. Chances are before. Mm -hmm. And Io's already just one creep away from level 6. Yeah. Shirk and Toss. Oh, they want to try and play here onto Lucify. They have the dust as well. Yep, so Lucify nowhere to run. Level 6 for the Io. Relocate online and they can start to make some plays. I mean, this is why you don't see Bounty anymore. Like, I might be criticizing the player, but the hero is really weak when it comes to a lot of these things. Like, he can't man fight most of the other four positions. If he's trading hits, he's generally losing. You know, he needs kill potential, and the only hero that helps him with that is the Darkseer. And they've met up to do that once. Meanwhile, bottom tier one about to fall very, very quickly to WG. Looking for a back. Okay, to get the tower. But the TPs are coming in. They are looking to try and fight here. Oh, he actually cancelled his TP. The back. They want to turn around to Velo. He's actually still going to be okay. The heal from X Nova. Oh, they get the turnaround kill. They pop the dust. They find Lucifer as well. He tried for the Shuriken toss, but they get two quick kills. Debated by... <laughs> by Ayo. Just Ayo things. Necro hasn't had a single Reaper Scythe kill. They will try for a smoke play. Alright, Nando, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Straight to the bottom, but they found him. Laying down the Static Storm, they want to go for the Reaper Scythe. Looks like they will find the Bat Rider to key kill. And they will find the IO as well, so two kills down. Can they kill Fero? Then get a stun. Okay, glimpse back. Should be a kill here with the Death Pulse. Enough damage. Need some friends. Uh, raindrops. Gets uh, out on 47 sure HP. They let him run away. They obviously attack. didn't see he had raindrops. But, yeah. Am I allowed to be tilted? Just a bit, just a bit. And Sionix is. You know, basically free farming, top lane. He's got a Midas. He's looking really found. I, I like the fact he went Midas this game. Uh, I, I think he knows uh, wherever he moves right now, like if he had an armlet, he could still pretty much contribute the same amount. And the Midas is just going to show him up to have a more smooth progression throughout the game. Because they can basically plant two heroes on two different lanes and push them out. And then they have these heroes uh, will catch anyone that shows. So life stealer might be inside someone for, you know, the full infest duration before the cooldown comes back up at one point if they really want to kill. And might as well just help. Right, Disruptor's got his level, so maybe they can make a play here. No vacuum. Man, with the lasso, all that damage, you know, fear they just nuke out Nando one more time. He's died like, what, four times now? He is 1, 5, and 2. Static Storm top into the vacuum combo. Might be enough damage, but the Static Storm is going to be there. And they're trying as well. 
Alright, so to find one kill, Ayo still alive, but he will end up going out to the docks here. Trying for the infest bomb combo, one more right click X Nova getting a kill. It's gonna be a 3 for 1 trade, losing only the Ayo, that's a trade they're definitely happy to make, and now they're on the hunt for Lucify. But with Dust Expired, they will go for the tier 1 tower instead. And Batrider getting the tier 1 deny. Trying to play around with Yaha, who actually goes for the no mana void play, and oh my god, Lucify kills off Miracle! But ends up feeding a kill to Shionix. Uh, if you're the bounty, you take that trade, but I don't know, man. Like, this game's painful to watch. Like, the Dax is sat here for like one second when the relocate's going on, he doesn't vacuum, and then they get a kill bottom, and then when they come back, they don't kill any of the cores because they don't have any damage yet. And yeah, they nearly have mech on Dax here, they have Veil on Necro, so their damage output's gonna be a bit better. But is it going to be enough? Probably not. So this is kind of anti-mage gaming now. He doesn't have treads. He nearly has a 15 minute battle fury. Kind of average. Nothing special. And he's going to have a hard game. Like, you can't man fight life stealer. Man fighting tiny is annoying as hell because of craggy. And then you've got to worry about getting caught constantly. Top lane, the good looking Flimmers back into the lifestyle with the Reaper side. Down goes Shionix for a whole minute. And Neon will open up the tier 1 tower top lane. Miracle, meanwhile, in the Invis rune, he has found Yaha, who's still trying to complete the Battle Fury. Actually, he just completed it. And Mech also completed into the dark. So your key items are popping up on the side of Neon. Warriors Gaming are about to experience the hell, which is anti mage gaming. I don't think it becomes hell until he gets uh, treads plus manta. Just the battle fury is like, you know, it makes him farm faster, but if he's showing on lanes, you can still kill him. Dyer's courier has Ooh, been courier snipe. Very nicely oh, that's done. really big. That's axe for tiny. 15 minute axe treads, you know, that's pretty good. Dyer's top tower Man, this guy has to be tilted. It's never nice to have your courier dead. Especially with the eggs inside. Fiero, that was a huge component. It means extra nuke damage. It means they could kill this ancient stack. Which would be very nice. Alright, so Bat Rider getting tracked up. This means they know. And he's 600 gold away to a dagger. So they have to suspect that he has a dagger I mean, upcoming. And that's gonna increase the initiation power, at least on Warriors Gaming's side. That's yeah, gonna make the relocate even more dangerous. It's gonna come at about the same time. Tiny gets his axe. I'm probably a bit before, actually. He's got 300 gold. And then, uh. The world is that oyster, honestly. Like. The, the scariest thing about Neon's lineup is back into Alex Storm Poison. Lifestealer doesn't care about because he's raged, unless he pops out into a Static Storm and then it's a problem. But until that point, it's pretty good. Uh, you know, there's no stun for them to worry about, which is something you normally look at for Dark Souls. It's why you, you don't see Bounty, you see Earth Spirit, you see... I don't know, like a support span, just something to combo th with to have an AoE stun. Because it wins you fights. Like, sure, Invis Iron Shell is nice, but this game they haven't done anything with it. And, uh. Sure, the heroes are farming pretty well, but they need to be able to contribute in the fight. Alright, so 14 to 7. There's just a thousand gold lead, and this. I think this is actually gonna keep growing because of the anti mage now gonna farm up into his Yasha. He's looking and very so fast. Yeah, but the smoke infest bomb is setting up for Bat Rider. Right, double smoke. Radiant are scanning for enemies. I'm pretty sure they know. Like they pop the scan, they just want to make sure. But because everyone else is off the map, did they by any chance smoke under ward? I don't think so. But okay, hold on, yeah, they, they found did. nano, did they? Oh, okay, now you're doing the lasso. Static storm combo is gonna be there. Shionix is still gonna right click away. Nice Sonic, and a nice snowball actually. The save, Reaper Scythe. Okay, it will kill Velo in the end. 
but are they actually still gonna fight this? They wanna chase Miracle down. Warrior's Punch actually he will still take him to the Iron Shell, but they will get you in return. So it's gonna be a two for one trade. Now trying to turn around into Nando. Not the easiest of kills. Glimpse back. Trying to kill the Ayo, but he's so far away. Toss away. Ooh, no one's dying. So a two for one trade remains the same. Uh, Fero, he really wants Lucifer. Oh, bringing him in. Open the wounds. Do they have another dust? Is this gonna expire? Sure, can toss bouncing around. And two for two trade. But the fight recap shows that Neon actually benefited more because you lose your offlane and your support. Likewise, but they do get like a 400 gold swing out of it. At least 400 more. Track money. And AM hitting creeps meanwhile. Mm hmm. And anti mage just do it, like I said, doing anti mage things. He's now full 800 gold above this lifestealer who's had a Midas for a while now, longer than he's had the Battle Fury. And the tiny's just about to get a Mask of Madness as well, so his farm speed's gonna go up, up, and up. Just needs Vicaria. Just finally here. No more bounty hunter sniping. You know, he just got 4,000 gold delivered, mm -hmm. so he's been playing without that for the past four minutes. I actually wish they had that thing where, you know, like every time a curry was sniped in an official game, you get, you know, people get hats. I wish that they brought that back. But I think now you need you need to have like a specific number of people watching. We look at coming in, and all right, they want to go for Nando using the Rod of Atos. He does trap Velo, but they have the lasso. Yep, so they will kill the Necro. Oh, spanking him down of that tree, and they want to turn around to lose the fight. No dust. They can't kill the bounty. Oh, they took the tiny out. They're going for Yamaguchi. I think that was a misplay. And he's going to be healing up, but Lucifer juking around the trees. Miracle Snowball, he breaks it, he will get the kill. So it's going to be a 3 for 0 trade. And WWG finding some serious momentum. 1,182 gold swing. Yeah, at this point, they've got their stuff so they can ramp up the pace. And AM's not really going to be able to contribute unless they dive really deep and come in and maybe man avoid the Batrider or something to mm -hmm. get a free kill at the end of the fight, but his fight contribution is going to be minimal. That's true. Same thing with Bounty. Like, he, he's going to track everyone and throw a Shuriken. So he gives you vision and one 300 damage nuke to X amount of kills. Shopter, you know, really nice form of control, but he's not that scary if there's no damage. So it's kind of all on the, the Necro and the Darks here. Mm -hmm. Oh, Miracle gets Glimpse back! Miracle, shards, he's gonna buy himself some time, putting himself into a corner. This is the naughty corner right here, this is the naughty boy corner. So he's gonna snowball, he's gonna try and buy some time. Yeah, he, he just let them track him, but now his team's coming in. Reaper Scythe as well! That's a big kill, but Velo and the rest of WG are on. Miracle's actually bought enough time. Okay, Static Storm, but it's okay with the toss combo, they find one. Look at the cleave damage, Yamaguchi going down! Triple! Actually no, X Nova get it again. And Nando gets a double, he will kill Velo. But Shionic's gonna right click away onto Nando, Rod of Atos gonna be there. Toss, bang. Chasing Nando under the tier 3 tower, wow, they really want this kill. And meanwhile, anti mage top lane still pushing in. Fighting under the shrine, Nando. Nando. Toss up into the air, will finally go down godlike streak for Fero. And with this, they can start to siege really, really quickly. Fortification will be forced out, Yaha. Gonna try and trade, Necrophos will be forced to buy out. Wow, just like that tier 3 tower, toss up into the air, oh, can he, do they get the kill here? Uh, I don't think so, you know, Ayo's out of mana, they're gonna run. Tracking up all these targets, but the top tier 3 does end up falling. The Glimpse back. Are okay? Ooh! Oh, he screwed up. Oh, no. Oh, no. He lives anyway. I don't think so. Uh, the tiny's alive too. The tiny's alive, but okay, nope. Shionix trying to help you his teammate. The, the glimpse! What? What? No way! <laughs> Am I watching like some 2K pub or what is this shit on GG and GG and I thought he was dead! He oh. was until the shrub depressed fucking W on him. And meanwhile, WG, VLO getting the kill into Lucify. The, they have to be tilted by this point. The glimpse back. Okay. Yamaguchi. Throw a Gucci? 
Nando, Warriors punch up into the air. He's dead for the count. Reaper Scythe. Okay, but Yaha does get the miracle kill. So that's going to be a 3 for 1 trade. It doesn't matter. Mana Void taking care of Velo. And Yaha's just here to clean up shop. And Shionix doesn't have any mana at all. He's going to try and right click you. Um, that toggles his way through. Maybe thinks about Midas sing something before he dies. Nice cooldown. Oh, right, I was looking at the illusion. Nah, yeah, he just goes back to farming. Oh. Okay, so if this anti mage carries his team after all the shit they've done, I'll be super impressed. But I don't think it's a very easy game for him to carry, especially when Tiny's about to get silver, which makes him so squishy. 1500 gold swing, and Pharaoh now has a silver's edge. Building-wise, so it's not as bad as it looks. You know, the aim took a tier freeze, so and now he can hit the shrines as well, which is going to give them a bit of money. He's about to hit level 20 as well, which is really big. You know, 10 tall stats. That's an extra 2k gold, effectively. If he mits, clicks, and takes the other talent, then you might as well just type GG. Not necessarily. Against Fiero and against, you know, the, the life stealer, there are certain perks to having that Oh evasion. my god, he did it. You only get this if you're getting a butterfly. <laughs> oh, like, dude. Right now. We've had that discussion before. You know how I feel about it, dude. It's garbage. It's absolutely garbage. All right, for those of you in the stream, if this is your first time tuning into a Hades PQMZ cast, don't be too bothered by, you know, PQ being the negative one. It's what we agreed on. This is entertainment value. And Lucify, oh, okay, they popped the dust. He will end up ticking down to Velo. I mean, I'm supposed to be the optimistic one, the overly optimistic one. To the point well, okay, is, so to the the point thing, is cringy. Right? Uh -huh. he, he is never going to fight them straight up. He's going to fight them when it's advantageous. So the evasion is irrelevant. He wants the helpful to not get bursted and he wants the Aggie for himself and his illusions to hit buildings. And the int is, you know, irrelevant. But he does not need evasion to hit buildings. He needs damage and health to hit buildings and not die, you know? Mm -hmm. Like if he gets caught by a Batrider. And okay, maybe the evasion helps in that respect, but when you, when you get the 25 Agi talent and you get the 10 to all stats, and then you probably got a butterfly or something in there as well, your illusions hit like trucks and mm -hmm. you can take buildings so quickly. This next item I mean, picked up for the anti mage is actually really re going to be really really helpful. Like considering he actually did go for the evasion, by the way. Just saying. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm tilted. <laughs> PQ. Then again, when are you never tilted when we do a cast together? So like I said, guys. I, I mean, like if I'm just casting some tier one teams, I can be happy. But you know, these guys like they make really entertaining games. Got it. But I just look at some of the things and it tilts me. I can't help it. You know, I'm an elite. <laughs> I can't help it. EU Dota coming to see. This, this is like Eternal Envy all over again. Except. It's got nothing to do with EU Dota. Oh, it's alright, man. But yeah, as I was saying, guys, you know, if this is your first time watching us cast together, don't worry about it. I mean, it's not that he's depressing, it's just that we agreed on the black and white. You know, it's just like the darkness and the light in a single cast. So, this is pretty much the closest yeah. we get to like a Batman and Joker casting together. Like, kind of. Except I'm the psychotic Joker and he's Batman. You wished it. Dude! Why? What? You, you, okay, you want to you be Joker and I be Batman? I don't want to be Batman, man. Alright, Pharaoh destroying Lucifer again under Sentry Ward. Do they have a gem yet? Not, not yet. You don't want to be Batman, why would you? I don't think you? they need one, honestly. It'd be great for the map control, though. And, okay, Velo going for another infest bomb. Yeah, but... We will. We are coming back to this, by the way. Like, why do you not want to be Batman? What, what's there not to like about Batman? Smoking under the creeps? They don't know about that. D dude, he, he's just someone who has a lot of money. You like, don't. You Batman don't... is. I, I'm not gonna go into this. Okay, I, I don't mind criticizing players when I have a reason to, but if I criticize Batman, everyone's just gonna hate me. Okay, so I'll I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it at that. <sighs> Are you like a Marvel only kind of person? Is, is that what's no, going on? I, I don't mind. I just think Batman as a, a quote-unquote hero is overrated. I think it's a cool concept, but you know, people seem to like it a lot more than I feel like it's... What's wrong I'm with money? I'm not going to talk about this. But what's wrong uh, with money? Up. Why would you not like money? Oh, I'm Lucifer getting caught out again. Okay. Oh, the avalanche. It's all right, dude. Okay, we've done it, chat. We've officially, we have officially tilted PQ to a whole new level of tilt. 
I, I mean, you can't disagree that Iron Man is cooler than Batman for the amount of stuff he does with his money. But it's oh, not like it matters. Hold on, they found the last soul. The glimpse, I'm not sure. Lucifer has been dying quite a bit and Pharaoh is just bashing down this tower. The vacuum into the wall, catching two only. Oh, they the relocate, the relocate safe. Reload. And the fortifications for star. This is pretty good. And now they can go for the bottom lane of barracks. Yeah, this is really smart actually. And then they just oh, he didn't snowball. Take it what? Don't bring your teammate to die. If you clicked on Fiora right there, I think that would be, that would have tilted me. He comes He's back. Space. And now they're going for the tier three mid. Rod of Atos. Got to cash into Velo. But Fiora is in some trouble. He has the Aegis. They're trying to burn the Aegis, which they finally will with the Mana Void. Gonna try and fight it. Look at Blinking onto the back. We're using the Reaper Scythe. They will bring down Velo by Miracle. Snowball onto the Necrophos. Pharaoh's just going ham, right clicking the hell out of every one of that big super ass tree. Bang, bang, bang. Yaha, you don't wanna fight this. Trust me, it's all about the size. And you going for the vacuum back. Pharaoh. But what if he evades one of the hits? Look at this. What if he evades one of them? If. Yeah, if. What if? Lucify. Ow. Yeah, he should have taken an evasion title, but stupid bounty hunter player. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Tiny is, uh, it's really nice to see his hero work out. It is. Imagine if he had crit. It's been a while. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed, you know. Th this could be a rapier or a daedalus, instead it's a hyper -storm. But they do have mega creeps, so uh... And this is basically... Kind of just ah. off the keyboard, you know. Uh, the guy's saying, don't give up, don't give up. Oh, oh that's, 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 bad, a, that's a positive, dude. That's positive, positivity. And okay, the relocate save out. No, that's bl blind hope. That's not maybe, blind hope. Maybe they clicked this area 17 times in a row. And the AM can take their phone. IOTPing out. Oh, the glimpse back? Why is he glimpsing? <laughs> <laughs> the static storm, it catches one, but Sionix rages up. The vacuum back, they're trying to kill Velo. The mana void, they blow him up. All right, I've lost track of what's going on because I, I can only hear the despair in your voice, PQ. Go Shroud. Man, Fear is just banging away into the creeps, toss up into the air. He's gonna try and wreck it. Nano Reaper Scythe, they actually get the tiny kill. Three heroes down, straight mid, straight mid. And WG That's have to be screaming that. GG end. Well, Tiny has no buyback. He doesn't. Uh, he bought he bought an extra Hyperstone, but there is a tier two. In tactical each pause. Lane. The tactical pause. This is where they decide, all right, guys, do we all in? No, th this is the BM pause, you know? They're mega and they, they pause. I mean, AM is okay at clearing them, but the rest of the team is optimistic. Right, at least it's a short pause. Alright, so... Hmm... Alright, and yep, you said like at one point you want to see, you want to see this life stealer pick up a diffuser blade. He has it. He still has clarities for good measure inside his, inv into, you know, his backpack as well. Might have to reconsider getting rid of those. Yamaguchi, pick up the region, pick up the why region! Would get, why would you get rid of them, dude? Backpack is OP. You know, you just keep these clarities there for after AM hits you a few times with his illusions, and then you pop them in, and then you go back to full mana, and it feels so good. What doesn't feel good is this Necro trying to fight Mega Creeps. You know what else He's also winning, doesn't feel good? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. on. Okay, hold on, PQ, you wanna hear a joke? Go, 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 go. Yamaguchi Disruptor. Oh. Uh, You're supposed to be the nice one. We Gucci, we Gucci on this dude. It, it, his inability to count to four is surprising. Yes. Let's not be too mean. I mean, given he's had a few great static storm into the wombo combo moments, but yeah, that's really hard to just press it on the hero they initiate. Can, on okay, can you game. count <laughs> to four with lag? How do you count to four accurately one, with lag? Two, three. It could have been Done. one, two, three, and then like things just freeze. He could be having actual internet yeah, lag. He'll miss it, and then he won't glimpse them back to base. But now he does glimpse them back to base. 
Oh, this is uh, this is this is the old oh, Mother Mary kind of play going on. Yolo. Now he gets a glimpse back. See, that's a good glimpse. That's a good glimpse. But no, no where's that's the follow? -up? A it should have killed him, but the life stealer went out too early. Get the shit shot. If anything, Neon is not Gucci because right inside their base, the tier four tower is taking some serious damage. Yeah, and he will kill off the Ayo. Pharaoh is still looking like a boss. Velo, he finds the lasso. They kill Gucci. Uh, no, no, not Gucci. That's ah, uh, that's Lucifer. I'm gonna have to get remember these players' names a bit better. But okay, the buyback out from the IO right now. He's gonna toddle, float, whatever you fly. I don't even know what you call this. What kind of movement is this? Port his way back to the base. And okay, open wounds. Vacuum. Vacuum back. The right click him down. No buyback on his end. Static storm, he doesn't even care. Look at Firo. Okay, but he actually might die here. The Reaper Scythe! He has buyback. Chasing up the Shonix right now. On the uh, toggle? Toggles? Toggles. Never giving up. This is this is Seed Order, dude. This is Seed Order. The glimpse back. All right. The glimpse back to dead body, but it's okay. It's all right. The game is not over till the throne is down. Welcome to Seed Order. Apparently so. You know, this, and, uh, at some point, these guys are like GGN, GGN, but they don't mean it. They, they'll fight to the bitter end, dude. I'm not even kidding. The throne could have like half HP, but as long as they haven't lost, I'm pretty sure Neon are going to keep holding on. Yeah, I mean, they've held a few times, so there's no reason not to now, but Warriors just need to, like, stop butting their head against a brick wall and, you know, think about a smart way of doing it instead. You know, m maybe uh, take an Aegis when it's up, maybe let the Tiny get a item, so he can buy BKB, and uh, then he doesn't take half his whole life from a Reaper Scythe. And this AM bot of lads, so he can push out waves, that does not feel good. <laughs> It's it's smart, but it doesn't feel good. You know, dude, I think one thing we haven't mentioned yet is we have to give credit to the rest of Neon. If your teammate just saved your opponent like what three times in a game, you be you you would be tilted. Yeah, minute, you you would be tilted by your own teammate. In this case, they're not. They're still fighting on. I, I would be tilted by both my support players if I was on that team. But okay, you have to give credit to. If Yaha. I was this anti mage. I would be so mad at my entire team. You know those pub uh, uh, pub shows on Reddit where it's just like, you know, my team's all fucking garbage, blah, blah, blah. I can't carry these 4K trash, you know? like mm -hmm. th That's the kind of thing this anti-mage is going through right now. His team's making the game harder than it needs to be. Okay, but you gotta give him credit. In the sense, like, he's, he's actually really, really positive. Like, if you notice on the chat lines, he's the one always going, don't give up, don't give up. You have to give this guy credit, man. Like he's this no, is the, I agree, I agree. Th this guy's got like a behavior score of over ten thousand. Yeah, I think I have a high behavior score as well, but you know. I you don't mean know. you mean in terms of raging or? No, I think it's like at least eight k, maybe nine. I'm not sure. I really don't know how. He is bad, man. You don't have, you don't have to falsify the numbers just to make us feel better, dude. Uh, I can check it in a second if I remember the console <laughs> command. I can screenshot it on Twitter if you guys don't believe me. Oh, Courier Snipe! Yeah, hit, hit the 15 evasion's gonna come in right now. Look at this evasion. It's doing absolutely nothing, but he's living anyway. Woohoo. You're gonna- you just wait for it, dude. He's gonna make you eat your words. Like, towards the end, he's gonna get 5 hits no. and 3 hits are gonna miss. Just miss, miss, uh, miss. <laughs> Yeah, okay. What about the evasion on the throne? He needs to give his talent to the throne. Um, that's a completely different case, OS Frog. Can you imagine though if yeah, there was I... a hero in the game which could allow you to give evasion to buildings? I mean, it's basically Lich, right? No, that's armor, that's different. Uh, like, uh, Omni right, right, Lasso, oh, they, they demolished Lucify and now you... Like PQMG said 20 minutes ago, this is why Bounty Hunter is not a hero anymore. I mean, if you play it well, then it's Onyx. different, but... <laughs> All right, He's had tier a really, four tower, really hard game. bang, 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 yaha, oh that silver's edge, goodbye spell shoot, the back, into the wall, catching th three, but no, Warriors in the back line, he's gonna go into Yamaguchi, making sure he can't give anyone back, Tiny is down, they have the Reaper Scythe still up, anti Mage has to fight somehow, Fero going straight for the throw, and the Reaper Scythe will be used onto Shionix, they have to kill Fero, they have to kill Fero, kill Fero! Fero, Fero, come on, keep fighting, keep fearing, the glimpse back, hold on, Fero, he's going straight for the throne! The yeah. fortification, he Fero! Oh, he has it! GG! Uh, no GG's? Alright, then, that's... I... I don't even know how this... I don't... I didn't want this Get game to... Get me out of this SEA, daughter! Get me out! <laughs>
Yes, they send help. Well, PQMZ are elite. My elite is Colecaster. You know, he's happy for this. But okay, and I mean, they were fun games. All right, but, all right. You know, yeah. The level of Dodo was a bit. Okay, that... it started good and uh-huh. then it went down. The entire series. Oh, dude. You know, started Relax. from Maneski. It started high when they were playing well, and then it just it took a dumpster dive. You know. <sighs> all right, all right, and. I mean, I, I have to basically just say any any last words before we close this out and go to some good old European Dota, like you, like you said, you know? Um, like, I mean, we have Kingwin versus LGB next. I don't really know too much about these teams. I know Kingwin just picked up a Dota squad. What about LGB? But, okay, I mean, just, just uh, the first question first. What do you think about this game, like, in this series in general? Closing thoughts. Um, I'd say it was probably a very entertaining series to watch just because of how back and forth it was and if you can enjoy watching people fail then it's a very enjoyable series but casting it was uh, interesting <laughs> I mean it was pretty entertaining that's for sure I mean I'm not even sure which was more entertaining the game or just you get it going and entering full tilt <laughs> well if I can entertain someone by toasting, I'm more than happy. Alright guys, so ladies and gentlemen, this will be pretty much the end of the first half of ESL Hamburg you know, coverage on the stream. Next up, we have more EU qualifiers. See, we're done with C. We're jumping regions now. So like I said, next game, we'll be doing Kingwin versus LGB. After that, we have Middle Feet versus Rocket. This is Hades. My co-cast is PQMZ. Any feedback, you enjoyed the cast, you can follow me at Hades.tv. You can find my co-caster at PQMZ Dota underscore. So, any words of uh, encouragement or advice for those of you, uh, for you know, for those who are going to be wa- joining us, at least to watch the European Games next PQ? Um, I, I don't know, man. Like, let, let's just hope for some cleaner Dota, I guess, if people like that. Or, I, I suppose everyone wants, you know, clowny Dota, so... Maybe I can tilt some more and no one finds it entertaining. We'll see. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Should be fun. Interesting. Okay. And um, apparently we missed the lobby. So we're going to have to jump straight into our next series, which... Yeah, it's going to be... Kingwin. Let's find the Kingwin game. Hold on. Because... Yeah, we we missed it. Wait. So we're casting through Dota TV? 